today I'm going to be looking at this this model, the Lothian uh, New Battle Coal Wagon. Um, it's from Oxford Rail. This is the very first Oxford Rail uh, model that I have. Um, it's not in keeping with my current layout or the era that I'm modelling, um, but I, I do have an interest in the Lothians um, from, from growing up in the area. So, as we can see, it's a pretty standard sized box. Um, it has no information about the, the wagon or when, when it's from, other than the type of wagon on the label, which is a four plank wagon, um, which is from the Lothian Coal Board number 792. Um, on the back where on other models you would have the information about the model, all it's got is the warnings for choking hazard. There's, there's no history at all or leaflet with this with this model. So let's have a look at it in more detail. As you can see the internal packaging is exactly the same as you'd expect from most of the manufacturers, Hornby and Backman. It is the ice cube with the tab that just pulls off. So we'll just lift this out. And the first thing you can see is that the inside is painted in a light, a light brown, which is a different colour to the outside. Uh, and the tops of all the planks are all painted on the, out, the outside colour. It's in a, a matte finish, um, so it looks like it's an older wagon, but is a clean wagon. Um, I intend to keep this as a clean wagon um, and not, not do anything to it. So looking at the, the bottom, you can see a little bit of detail on the bottom. Um, the wheels have white rims um, and we can actually see that the handbrake levers are separately applied. So you can see them, them bowing out there. Um, the couplings are NEM pockets, so they can, be, they can be changed for whatever type of coupling that you want to use. Um, factory fitted with the, the slimline tension lock and as we can see it's painted on the side the Lothian Coal Company Limited wagon number 792 with a thistle in the middle and new battle across the top. All in all it looks like a really nice wagon um, and the detail on it with the, the little loops on the, on the end and then separately applied we have these end, end pieces they are just clipped on um, they're not part of the, the molding so the detail that has gone into making this little model we have a little bit of, of detail on the under, underbody but not all that much we've got the brake shoes on the opposite wheels we don't have any sprung buffers they're just standard buffers but they are metalized um, so they're not they're not plastic looking um, and again they they are also separately applied and they do come off and go back on quite easily so the level of detail that they've put into this this model is incredible It's slightly different to the Backman and Hornby models that there have been of this. Um, I think they did the five plank wagon and if you go over to Jenny Kirk's channel she has uh, reviewed the, the five plank from Backman um, which was a Harburn Hobbies exclusive and there was also um, while looking up for this wagon there is also a Hornby um, exclusive five plank wagon. Um, both of which um, I would seek to get in the future. So as we can see, the, the detail in the lettering is perfectly crisp over all the joins. And this is just a model to, to go into my collection of older, older wagons and I don't envisage running this on Olia at all. Let's 
There it is, back in its packaging. It sits quite neatly in the packaging there. There's nothing. There's nothing rubbing on it. It's it's well it's well held, um, and it will go back into its box and and stay there just for the pure enjoyment of having a new battle wagon. Hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. If not, hit the thumbs down and leave a comment in the bottom. Yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my videos.